Hi, good afternoon. This is Biggs, Kevin Baker with Biggs Takes. Welcome. I uh, This is coming into the close, 4 o'clock on uh, Tuesday, May 24th. And um, the uh, second winner we have here today, we're up 15.43%. My, my, my title for this is going to be, there's no bear market at Biggs Takes. And we'll make mistakes, but right now we're up and the market's down. So we've got a 30-point spread uh, which I don't even care about. I just want to make money every single year. It's possible, and we're doing it. And we're doing it with the help of Matthew Tuttle, who we had on the show. And this is the reason I had him on the show. I was fascinated by uh, the ability in a, in a very efficient way per my son Jack's friend's question, uh, you know, shorting uh, all the, the, the companies that had de spacked especially the EV companies, the the, the Nicolas and the Lordstowns and all of those. And I can read a chart. And so back in July 8th, 2021, bought it here. And this is what a bottom looks like, folks. It doesn't look like what we see right now in the Qs and the S&P. And, um, and this is here we, here we are at the end of the year, 30 bucks. And here we are at, uh, at 47.95 for a very, very nice gain. And we're going to be coming, obviously, into long-term capital gains without fairly short order, but uh, the, there's, there's 2,000 plus charts I go through all the time, and you don't have to be beholden to what the talking heads on CNBC are talking about most of the time, which is frankly uh, losing less money in a market like this, and you don't have to, and you don't have to hug an index, and you can cut your losses short, they can't, you can let your winners run, which they can, but uh, we can do it even even more forcefully, and so uh, as we can, I think a lot of these spacs are going to go are going to go bankrupt at some point in time. It's going to take some time. You're starting to see the layoffs and the cost cutting, and and you know lowering the burn rate. But uh, the reason these companies didn't go through IPO is that they're lower quality, and uh, and we're, we're we're finding that out, and it, it's coming home through. I think there's more to go. I'll be the first one to say when my technical cell discipline kicks in and makes me get out of these things. But for now, I don't like SPACs. I still don't like SPACs. And we have more money to make here, in my view. Hope I've been helpful. And please call me if I can be helpful further. See you. Bye now.